Alright, today I'm gonna fix my Minecraft clone. It generates really slowly right now and doesn't even have infinite worlds. The first thing I did was remove trees. I used Unity Jobs to generate terrain, hopefully preventing slowdowns. Unity Jobs is Unity's version of multi-threading, but it's kinda confusing to use and this is probably awful implementation, but it works, sort of. This didn't generate caves and had some extra faces for some reason. I fixed this by putting the world generation into a separate script and just calling the function for each block. This didn't work as expected, but it turns out I just passed in the wrong value, so I fixed it and now everything's working again. This is much faster than before, but the performance while generating chunks is still pretty bad. This is because when chunks try to get data from neighboring chunk that doesn't exist, it generates that chunk the non-jobs way. I fixed this, which increases the performance quite a bit, but now we have a lot of extra faces being generated. To fix this, I created a separate chunk key for chunk objects and separated chunk object generation for the chunk data generation. I then made the getNeighboringChunk method add the non-existent neighboring chunk to the chunk data queue. Finally, I made the chunk wait for its neighbors be to exist before generating. This gave some interesting results. Now it's just even worse. I did eventually get it working, but it's still rather slow. I started improving it by generating the entire chunk queue at once. I'm not sure if that did anything, but I added a timer, so now I can see that it now takes about 19 seconds. I then did the same thing for the chunk objects. This increases the speed, but it lowers the FPS quite a bit. It did bring down the time to 9 seconds though. Just like last time, I somehow managed to lose all of the footage of making infinite worlds, but here's a demonstration. Now that we got the boring stuff out of the way, let's work on some fun stuff. With the addition of infinite worlds, we have some room to add some cool world generation. I started by changing the noise settings to scriptable objects, which had interesting results, but I fixed it and now it's time to add biomes. I use a temperature and humidity map to find biomes like in Minecraft, and now we're getting mountains. However, they don't blend very smoothly with the terrain. I use a weird method of blending by taking points at different distances away from the block and taking an average of the height values of each block. It's not the greatest thing ever, but it's not bad for now. I'm also able to add deserts, which is basically just the plains, but with sand. I know this is a little bit of a disappointing place to end at, but I can't really find the motivation to keep this project going, and I didn't even really want to make this video in the first place, but it got the last video got so much positive attention that I just kind of decided to anyway. After all, I had said that I was going to. Is there going to be a third video on this? Maybe. I'll probably find motivation again someday, but it may not be for a while. It's very hard to find ways to improve performance, and that's the main problem I'm having that's keeping me from continuing. That being said, I do have other projects planned and I'm quite excited about, so look forward to that. There may be one in the near future. That's all I have for today. If you like this, please subscribe and like the video and leave a comment telling me what you'd like to see next. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.